G'day and welcome back to the channel. Uh, the long range FPV sub 250 gram project continues now. I have FPV or FPV equipped this Radjet 420, which is a really light model. And the reason I did that was because you get more penetration. This is a quite a fast little model actually, even on 2S. And it only has this tiny little battery down here, which is 180 milliamps, tiny little lightweight thing. So there's room to actually put a bigger battery in there um, as long as you deal with the CG issues. And I may do that because this has got a tiny, 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 let me say it again, tiny motor in the back here. And the bearings are all ragged to buggery. The bearings are shot in that motor, so it shakes like hell, um, regardless of prop balance. So you could put a slightly bigger motor, slightly bigger battery, and get even more performance out of this thing. But what I did was, let me just pull in a bit so you can have a look, see? I just stuck, quite literally, with hot glue, the, the little uh, combination of the Runcam uh, micro swift and their little 200 milliwatt video transmitter just stuck that on the back there as you can see it's just glued in place ran a wire down to here where i've got i've got a five volt beck in there because the esc won't have enough power to drive the whole lot little five volt beck in there which i put in and there we go that's all i had to do to make this into an fpv model uh, and let's see how much it weighs because it really is light okay using the scales that don't show the blood place your bets ladies and gentlemen 79 grams of course hang on a minute i forgot the canopy so let's add the canopy for extra measure and oh it brings it up to 80 grams one third of the well, less than one third of the minimum or the maximum we can run before some countries require you to be registered and others even apply rules there you go that's quite a it's a peppy little model um unfortunately i don't have someone who can use a camera with me today <laughs> my spot is pretty useless but uh yeah um so I'm going to take it out now and I'm going to get some aerial footage on the DVR from the FPV camera. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to work. I really don't know if this is going to work. There could be all sorts of issues with noise and so forth. But And also, I haven't worked out how to select the channel. This is actually, if you notice the green wire on here, this is the version for use with the flight controller of the little 200 milliwatt transmitter. And, and I can't figure out how to set the channel. So I've just done a scan for whatever channel it's on, whatever power level it's on. And hopefully it worked. I didn't fly at FPV, flew at line of sight. And... Here's the resulting footage. And yes, we've got a bit of wind today. There is a bit of wind. You can see the trees in the distance and there's, there's dust blowing. You see the wind is not that weak today, so it's a good test for something this small in the wind. And because we're in the lee of the hangars, we're going to get turbulence as well. So let's see how she goes. <laughs> 